Right, next we're going to have a look at the temp scheduler. The temp scheduler allows you to add unavailability um, against candidates' records and also then to do availability searching to see what temps are available. This is purely based on people who are seeking a job type of temp, which we can see here on the details tab. So it only applies to the fact that they've got the temp checkbox on. So what I'm going to do is I'm in a candidate record who is obviously seeking a temporary position as we can see, Jennifer Lopez, and I'm going to go across to her events tab and put in some unavailability for Jennifer. So to do that I'm going to click on the button on the right, edit candidate unavailability, and if I know when this unavailability ends then I can obviously populate the end date, if I don't it doesn't matter, it will literally insert unavailability um, for the time in the duration of the future. So I'm going to put in an unavailability date of 28th of June and I know that she's not available mornings, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursdays, Fridays. So I'm just literally clicking on the AM button and we can see that it's inserting 8 to 12. These hours that it's inserting can be set up in the back office. So I can either insert the whole day as unavailable, mornings, afternoons or just evenings. And then any other days that the candidate is unavailable, i.e. holidays, I can list at the bottom. And as it said, just this dates one on each line. So if I know that she's not available on the 3rd of July, I can actually just enter that on there at the bottom like that. And then once I've finished it, uh, adding the unavailability, if I just click outside this window, it closes down. And then you can see what it's done on the left. It's put those unavailability times in her unavailability times uh, field on the left and the unavailable date on the right. And then it's literally just blocked out these times for her in her calendar. So if I now opened her calendar by clicking on the open calendar button, ignoring that, and it will come up literally with from today's date, 8 to 12 is obviously now marked out as Jennifer being busy all of next week and the week after. And if I close this using the cross top left, just to take me back into her record. So her unavailability has been added to her record. If I now wanted to search for any temps on the database who are available uh, next week every afternoon, then at the bottom of the screen on the right, we've got this availability search button. And if I go and click that, it brings up the same window that we saw before. This will probably be blank. The only thing is I've been already looking for something, which is why the uh, last thing I was looking at is already populated inside, which is fine. So I'll leave it as 8th to the 14th of June. But rather than the mornings, I'm just going to delete those. <clears throat> and put in the afternoons. So PM for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. So we can see that that's pulling through 12 to 6. Again that's set up in the back office what hours it puts in when I click the appropriate button. And then I'm just going to click the find button at the bottom and hopefully we can see that we've got nine candidates found. So nine in the list, it tells me the nine up in the top right hand corner. And these are all temps on the system who are available those afternoons between the 8th and the 14th of June. Jennifer Lopez is obviously there and we can see that she's actually working 8 to 12 on those days. So it actually shows us that. If I go into Jennifer's record, I can do that by clicking on the arrow to the left of her record. And then obviously if I go to her events tab, I can see her unavailability is the mornings. And also I could open her calendar um, and have a look at the hours in there. So that's how to use the temp scheduler in HRS Pro.